Some 20 years before the first Fomal Regular was in production, International Harvester started building single-cylinder gasoline engines. This 25 horsepower portable engine was built by the International Harvester Company in 1915. This engine is one of only three known throttle-governed 25 horsepower engines. A throttle-governed engine runs like a conventional modern engine with the throttle plate in the carburetor. On hit and miss engines, the speed of the engine is controlled through the exhaust valve. With hit and miss engines, only the exhaust valve has a rocker arm on it. The intake valve has no rocker arm and is atmospherically opened by the suction of the piston on the intake stroke. To control the speed of the engine, the governor holds the exhaust valve open, which prevents the intake from being sucked open and a charge placed in the cylinder. International Harvester built these style engines at the Milwaukee Works from 1904 to 1917. Production started in 1904 with hit and miss horizontal gasoline engines in 6, 8, and 15 horsepower. Production was later expanded to include 4, 10, 12, 20, and 25 horsepower engines, with the 25 horsepower construction starting in 1910. Of the throttle governed 25 portables like this one, only 128 were built from 1913 to 1915. From 1904 through 1912, the engines were hit and miss gasoline, but in 1913, production was changed to throttle governed kerosene engines to utilize the cheaper kerosene fuel. At this time, car production was dramatically increasing the demand for gasoline, driving prices higher. The heavier distillate kerosene was half the price of gasoline. Engines that could burn kerosene were at a distinct advantage with the amount of fuel savings they could provide the farmer. International Harvester built these horizontal engines in three styles. Horse portable, for moving from job to job. Stationary, for installing in a building to run equipment. And mounting, to be used on a piece of equipment like a corn sheller, baler, or tractor. These portable engines would be pulled from farm to farm, usually with a team of four horses. These units were used to power a wide variety of farm implements, including thrashers, buzz saws, husker shredders, and corn shellers. This engine is originally from Millerstown, Pennsylvania, and was owned by the Harold Kerr family. From 1935 until it was sold at auction in 1997, it was used to power wood planing and molding equipment. In 1935, the steam engine that was powering the Kerr planing mill caught the mill on fire. This destroyed the mill and damaged all of the equipment. A neighboring sawmill cut the material for a new building, and the existing equipment was rebabbited and put back in working order. The Kerr family was in need of a cheap, reliable power unit to run the newly rebuilt mill. Since it was in the middle of the Great Depression and the owners had limited capital, they went to their local scrapyard where they purchased this 25 horsepower IHC portable engine. This engine was pulled by a team of mules back to the planing mill where it was pulled alongside the east wall of the building. The wheels and axles were removed and sold back to the scrapyard. The engine was then set on large wooden timbers. With the engine in place, a lean-to was built over the engine and was belted to a line shaft which ran the planing equipment. The original cooling tank, water pump, and battery box were removed and placed in the corner of the lean-to. A flowing artesian well was used to cool the engine. This engine was in operation in the same location for 60 years until it was sold at auction in 1997. The engine was sold in place in the same building that had been its home for years. The engine was purchased by Leroy Baumgardner, who bought it for Dave Boomgarden, who could not be at the auction. Leroy decided that the easiest way to move the engine was to remove the roof of the lean-to and lift the engine out with a crane. Fortunately, a large crane was available just across the road. The original cooling tank, water pump, and battery box were still in the same location they were placed in 1935. These original pieces were placed back on the engine and Dave put the engine back on a set of original IHC wheels and axles. After over 80 years of operation, the engine needed some repair. The wrist pin and wrist pin bushings were replaced and the connecting rod bearing was tightened. Several pins, including the governor weights, were replaced. 
Due to the amount of original paint on the engine, Dave decided not to repaint the engine and keep it in as much original condition as possible. The mixture of oil and sawdust provided a protective coating which preserved much of the original finish. This engine has a 10 inch bore, 14 inch stroke, and 1,100 cubic inch displacement. This one cylinder gas engine has almost the same displacement as three 350 Chevy car engines. This engine resides with the Dave Boomgarden family in Illinois.